Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new sticker for your website. So here we can see we have this uh, scrolling message over here and uh, it goes all the way to the end of the screen. And we also have some heading over here and once it reaches the end of the screen on the left side, it comes back from the right side over here. So you can go ahead and add any number of text over here into your website and it will keep on scrolling forever. So this is what we're going to design in this video. So we're going to use HTML and CSS to design this. And in the next video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger and your WordPress websites. So let's get started. Alright, so here I have created an empty project and I just named it new sticker and I just opened it with VS Code and this is the code editor that we're going to use. So let's start by creating an index.html file. So let's go over here to new file and we'll create a file called index.html and let's create one more file for the CSS. So we'll just name it style.css. Alright, so let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code and uh, let's also link our CSS file over here so I'll just type link and press tab and in the editor you'll just type style.css now let's start by creating a container division to hold everything so let's create a division with the class of news container and the first thing we will have is the title so let's create a division with the class of title and uh, here we'll just type breaking news and let's add some news over here so we'll just create an unordered list for that so let's type ul and in that we will have some list items so let's type li and uh, let's add some random text over here in VS Code you also have this shortcut where you can just type lorem and uh, add some number over here and press tab and uh, you will have some randomly generated text so let me just copy this and paste it down here let's make this a little shorter and uh, we'll just keep this as it is so these are the three stories that we have in our breaking news Alright, that's basically it with the HTML. Now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called Live Server. So just search for Live Server over here and install it on VS Code. And once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. And here we can see our design is being displayed over here. Now let's go to our style.css file and let's start designing it. First of all, let's target the news container. So let's type dot news container. And we will set the position to fixed so that it will always be on the top of the website and we'll set the top position to 0 and left to 0 and right to 0 so that it will extend the whole screen and we'll also add a box shadow so let's type box shadow and we will add the values 0 4 pixels 8 pixels negative 4 pixels and RGBA 0 0 0 and 0 0.3 right, so that's it with the news container now let's style this breaking news title over here. So let's type news container title because here we can see we have added this class title for this division. And we will set the position of this title based on the news container. So here we have set the position to fixed. So here we can type position absolute and it will be positioned relative to this news container. And let's give it a background color of df2020 and we'll set the height to 100% of the parent and we'll bring it to the center vertically so for that we'll set display of flex and align items to the center but now it is in the center now let's add some padding so we'll just type padding and we'll set it to 0, 24 pixels and we'll set the color of the text to white and font weight to bold now let's style the unordered list so let's type news container ul and we'll set the display to flex so that all the elements will be one next to the other and we'll also remove these bullets from here so let's type list style and we'll set it to none and now let's style the list items inside the ul so let's type news container ul li and the first thing we need to do is we need to set all the text in one single line so it should not go to the next line so for that we can use this property called white space and uh, we have to set it to no wrap and now we can see that the text is on one single line. All right now let's remove the default margin that we have for the UL. So let's type margin 0 and we'll add some padding over here in the LI. So let's type padding of 10 pixels top and bottom and uh, we will have 24 pixels left and right. Here we can see we have this uh, padding of 24 pixels. 
Now let's set the color of the text to a lighter color. So we'll just set it to 494949. Right now after the end of all the stories we need to have a line over here separating one story from the other. So for that we will use an after element. So let's type news container ulli colon colon after. Now in the after element you need to have a property called content. So let's type content and if we just type some value over here so let's type hello and here we can see after the list item we have hello displayed over here. Now we don't want to have hello displayed we want to have a line so let's remove the content and we'll set the width of the line to 1 pixel and the height of the line to 100% and let's set a background color we'll set it to b8 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 now we need to position this after element at the end of this list item so here we will type position relative and here we will type position absolute and we'll set the top position to 0 and the right position to 0. Now we can see that the line is just where we want it. Alright, now the next thing we will do is we will remove the line from the last element. So we don't want to have the line after the last story. So for that we will type news container ulli colon last child colon colon after and here we'll just set the display to none. Alright, now we have some problem with this title over here. It should be above the list items. So let's scroll up and for the title we will give a Z index. So let's type Z index and we will set it to 200. And now it is about the list items. All right now the next thing we need to do is add the animation. Now we want these elements to start from the extreme right of the screen and then scroll all the way to the left side. And after that start from the right side and repeat this infinitely. So for that we will use the animation property inside CSS. So let's create an animation for that. So here we will type at keyframes and uh, for the name of the animation I'll just type scroll and we can have two properties from and to. So in the from we will type transform translate x and we will set it to 100% of the element. So it will start all the way from the right and uh, for the last frame that is to we will type transform translate x and we need to have some negative value over here. Now let's see what we need to add over here. So let's scroll up and let's go to the UL. And here we'll just type transform translate x. And uh, first of all let me show you 100%. And now it is all the way to the right of the screen. Now let's add some negative values. So let's just type negative 100%. And this is where the elements are right now. We need to move it even further. We can just go ahead and experiment with these values over here. So for example if I type negative 1000 pixels. We can see that a little bit of the last element is being displayed over here. So we need to get the exact width of the UL. So for that we can use some JavaScript. So we'll just right click over here and click on inspect. And you need to go to the console. And here you need to reference the element. So if you go to the HTML, we can see that we have this division with the class of news container. And in that we have the UL. So let's target that. So I'll just type document dot query selector. And here we'll type news container ul and here we need to type scroll width and now here we can see the width of the ul so we can add this value to the css but we also need to decrease the width of this breaking news title from here so let's select the element and let's hover over this element and here we can see the width is around 156 pixels so we need to decrease the value 156 from this value right here so let's add this to our css 1239 minus 156 pixels so the value is 1083 and now we can see that the element is all the way to the left. So let's cut this from here and let's add this over here in the last frame of the animation. Alright so it will start all the way from the right side and it will go all the way to the left and we will run this animation infinitely. So let's scroll up and add the animation. So the animation name is scroll. So let's add that over here in the UL. So for that we have to type animation and the name of the animation which is scroll and then we need to set the duration so we'll set it to 25 seconds and we need to run the animation infinitely so we'll just type infinite and we'll also set the easing function to linear so that it will have a constant speed for the animation right now let's save it and see whether it works
so we can see that once the animation completes it goes on again and again so we have this infinite animation so that's basically how you create a new sticker for your website now you can go ahead and experiment with these values like you can go ahead and change uh, the duration or you can go ahead and change these values over here and whenever you add or remove some list items from here you can go ahead and check out the width using the console and then just update the value over here in the animation so that's it for this video in the next video i'll show you how to add this to your blogger and your wordpress website if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day